Chest and welcome to the next video. In this video we are watching finally the animated history of Poland. But I'm very interested to see what was Poland uh, like before and what was the history before they invaded. Because we don't cover any of this in our history lessons in Germany. We are much more focused about Germany. And yeah, so I'm very interested and by the way, let me know I'm oh, I have an <laughs> I have a new lighting setup, so let me know if this is better or uh, if it was better before. Also, please let me know more about the dates that are probably shown in the video and what they are all about, because I only know something about the 20th century, so the parts where Germany took place in Polish history, and I would love to learn more. Okay, so this video is gonna be epic, right? What an entrance. What was in uh, 1226, uh, uh, what was, because this was one year that was specially put out, um, what was there? Uh, let me know. And of course, Middle Ages are very brutal. Were there so many tribes as in Germany where like everybody fought against everybody or what was it like? One quick thing. Please hit like and subscribe, it helps the channel so much, we are so close to the 1000 subscribers, thank you. Was this a Polish king? Or was it only one of uh, a little kingdoms of many? Grünwald. This is so, so epic. Copernicus?
Is he uh, is he known or was he like uh, simple just for many of the richer people that they are not caring about the poor? Or is he a specific king or something like that? Polska. Against who is this war? Um, I couldn't quite figure it out. Let's go to the bad part. To the, I mean, most of those parts were already not good. But let's come to the worst part. From the one enemy to the other, right? From Germany to Russia. Were there like uh, men killed or like massacres because they pro uh, were protesting or what was in 1978? Uh, we have to say it's crazy how bloody the history of Poland was. I mean, of course, many countries in, Pol in, uh, in Poland and Europe had a bloody history until World War One. But I mean, I think none country had such a bloody history after World War One. It's just crazy how, yeah, how often you got invaded and how often you have to, had to had to fight back and also to surrender, of course, because I mean Germany or Russia are much stronger.
Oh, oh shit. So we are now like 15 minutes later. I had to pause the video and take a few steps and stuff like this to be able to speak freely again because I was very emotional. I mean, you, you saw me crying. Normally not so emotional about this, but this video was so well-made uh, <laughs> yeah, well made, um, that with the music and stuff that just hits hard. I'm feeling so deeply for Poland and what you have gone through. I mean, I probably you, you were the country that has gone through the most in the 20th century. How well, you bounce back after that. I mean, of course, your economic level is still not on par with Germany, but how could you? I mean, your, the big parts, right? West Germany was not under communist regime and total Poland was. I'm feeling for Poland and I'm just glad that you are now our European EU brothers and that we can uh, go into future together and uh, make good changes about climate change and everything like this together. And yeah, are not enemies or stuff like that anymore. That is very cool. And I'm very proud to be European and I mean, I didn't do anything for that, right? But to be part of this very, very cool thing that is called the European Union and tie so many different cultures and people together, which is just, just incredible. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm so excited. The next video will be my 500 subscriber special. So which you are all waiting for, I know. So yeah, keep subscribing to not miss it and liking, of course, and we see each other in the next video. Bye.